What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, no, we are not working on the Camaro. We are actually going to be working on our 2011 Sierra Denali. And I think you guys are going to be interested in like what we do. So behind me is my 2011 GMC Sierra Denali. And for the price, I think it's one hell of a truck, very, very reliable and a lot of power. But being that it is a 2011, it does lack some of the newer tech features. Things like the 360 degree cameras or blind spot monitoring or the automatic retractable steps. All things that are found in many of the same high-end trim level trucks. But today, one thing that is only found in the 2019 model up GMC uh, Sierras or Chevrolet Silverados is of course wireless charging guys and nowadays a lot of the phones that are coming out have wireless charging capabilities and it's very very useful I find it very very useful when I'm in my dad's 2019 GMC Sierra Denali I just place the phone there and it starts charging and there's no cables or anything like that it's very very useful and obviously from 2011 they did not have that feature but thanks to boost auto parts they are giving us that basic capability of wireless charging in our 2011 model and this kit will fit from 2007 to 13 but they also sell a kit that will work for the 2000 1999 or 2003 to 2007 the previous generation trucks as well now the kit comes with everything you see here plug and play harness a new dash pad and the actual wireless charging module and it only requires a phillips head screwdriver or drill bit like you see here we need a pry tool for removing some body panels and a 3 8 drill bit so looks like it's a very simple installation so let's get right to it and show you guys just how to install it and alrighty guys so let's look at exactly what you get in as you guys can see here designed by boost auto parts and it does come with three coils and this nice rubber pad that's going to cover it and you guys can see basically as soon as you put the phone right in the middle it should be charging and it also has some LEDs here to let you know when this is charging so that is pretty nice it's got some inserts here you guys can see a little plug adapter there and of course your plug and play wire harness that's going to be used to send the power from this rear cigarette lighter up into the top here so first step is we do need to remove this rubber piece here and there are and this bottom trim piece here we're gonna go ahead and remove this top trim piece here now once you remove the top cover you'll see there's four screws here we're gonna remove those two then once those four are removed we're going to come here and we're going to remove one two three four five six seven eight more phillips screws and then before you can pop this out you'll make sure to press down on this hinge latch and then th this will kind of just fall right out and then we'll follow up when we get there we removed all the screws so now we can push down and then use our pry tool to pop this lower cover out we removed the lower cover now you'll see there's two more phillips screws here holding this top mechanism in place so we're going to remove these two and then we can slide out this whole mechanism towards the front so we've removed this lid this bottom piece here does have a little knot so you kind of lift up on this to remove it out of the way but now here we're going to have to use our 3 8 drill bit and drill a hole right about this middle section here and then also in the same spot here in the front. And that is where our wireless pads harness is going to go right through. So we'll drill a hole here and here. OK, 
Okay, so we've drilled the hole on the top piece and also in very similar area on the front piece. So now we can go ahead and install our wireless charging mat here and feed the wire through there. All right guys, so here we have it. You guys can see the holes are lined up perfectly and we've got the harness also here ready to go through this bottom piece here and install back on through the top of the console lid. We've kind of locked it into place where we want it. Now we can go ahead and screw back our top trim piece here and put in back the two holes and we will be done with the top side of this cover. So we've completed the upper install. Now we're going to need to get to the harness install and like I mentioned we're going to be grabbing power from this rear aux. So what we need to do is pop this panel out and you can just get a pry tool and kind of work your way around to pop this panel out. We've got actually two cigarette lighters here. We've got one in the back and one inside the cubby hole and looks like we could basically use either one but we're gonna get the harness and the harness is gonna basically splice into in between here plugging and playing so here's the harness and it's actually pretty nicely built and you guys can see it comes with the cigarette style connector on one end and then of course the other one and it even has a built-in inline fuse guys so that's pretty awesome so what we're gonna do and this of course is gonna plug in to the top so what we're gonna do is disconnect this which is on there by just this black plug here and that you push down and this slides completely off then we're gonna get this plugged into the male side here and just make sure that it is plugged in correctly and that's going to go in like so, clips in, and then, of course, this goes back into our stock cigarette lighter so that it can be used for any other accessories, and we can hold all this in here, and what we're going to do is bring in this harness, and we're going to fish it in through this gap here. You guys can see, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and get this two-wire power and ground, and there's a gap there that you can see my finger that is where we're going to fish it in through and out into the side there and bring it all the way in on this side and that is how we're going to get it up into the lid cover but it, it won't obstruct anything with this cover here so let's go ahead and plug this in, fish this all out, and then we can get to the bottom side of the lid. So when this cover is on, guys, it is right on the lid itself. Similar like this, but a little bit farther down here. And of course, it covers completely all the way to the edge here. Now we need to pass this harness into the inside back side of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a 3 8 hole right about this corner here. And that is where we're gonna feed our power line in through so we're gonna get our 3 8 drill bit and do a hole right around this corner here so now that we've got the hole we're gonna go ahead and fish this wire through it and that way it gets to the back and then plug it up on the top and check it out guys you can see we do have power and now we press this button and it looks like it turns it off so you can turn it on and off here which is pretty nice so it doesn't is not on all the time and if you'll notice i don't even have my keys on so you can actually turn this on and have it charging without the truck even being charged turned on which is really really nice so now let's go ahead and screw everything back in i've got it all situated back in its place and we can get to finishing this install up. So we've got the harness there. We know that it's got all the stuff taken care of. Now we can just kind of just basically keep it here behind everything and push everything back in and just snap this back into place. And boom. So you'll see that everything is good to go here. Now let's look at the front check this out so the truck is completely off I'm just gonna place this phone there 
and bam there we've got it guys completely charging wireless charging and you see the little blue light indicating that it is charging which is really nice and it's supposed to have a 10 watt fast charger so this thing will charge pretty quickly and will be nice to have when we're driving around so basically now when i get in the truck don't need to worry about having cables i can just throw my phone in the center console here on the top and the phone will start charging which is super awesome definitely recommend it guys the boost auto parts wireless charging pad it is very nice i have seen a few others that make the same pad but their pads go all the way flush across the top here so it basically loses the advantage of being able to hit, have your phone sit there and it's not going to slide or move out or fall off or anything like that in hard cornering so definitely definitely like it gives you that almost oem style look of a wireless charger in a OEM vehicle so that is awesome I'm glad everything came out awesome and working properly so in terms of install guys that is about as easy as it gets you really just need a Phillips screwdriver a 3 8 drill bit to cut the holes and everything is plug and play on the vehicle you don't have to splice anything you don't have to do anything it is super awesome and i think it's going to be just a nice little touch to have guys nowadays the phones are all wireless charging capable and having that makes your life a whole lot easier and that isn't the only thing that i have planned for this truck to bring it back up to some of the more modern style looks guys so some of the few things that i'm thinking about let me know in the comments down below what are some other types of things that you would add to this truck i am thinking about getting the new style c-shaped led drls front headlights so and along with the led white light headlight beams so all that should update the front end slightly i do want to do the retractable steps on this truck i of course got it leveled i've got the tono cover on the back end guys i am a little undecided as far as tail lights i think these are actually some of the nicest tail lights that a truck has come out with i love the denali specifically had this black trim making the headlight look slightly smaller compared to a lot of the other trims but of course they're not led they don't have any type of drls so i've looked at a few different designs i'm not sure yet and sold on having the rear tail lights updated i feel like it might make it look a little too ricerish but definitely looking into that as well and overall i really want to bring this truck up to the nice tech standards i have looked into of course the dash and the radios to bring bluetooth connectivity because currently this truck does not have bluetooth so that is one thing that we're working on is the bluetooth connectivity the way that i done that right now is through this bluetooth aux adapter so maybe going with something slightly bigger here to enable bluetooth and a lot of other nice features but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a 2007 to 2014 gmc sierra denali or ltz or slt i believe that had the center console lid then i definitely recommend the boost auto parts charging system it works and seems to have an ample area for you to go ahead and place your phone in and so far it was very simple install that is it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one